okay so i hope you might have heard about pedometer if you haven't let me just quickly tell you what pedometer is right so a pedometer is a sensor which actually senses the movement of the number of steps you're taking so it tracks the number of steps and it also can track the distance you have covered while walking okay so while walking it will track the number of steps you have uh, used to walk right so uh, it's it's one of the very useful components or sensors in, which is available in MIT App Inventor and I must say this is pretty accurate okay and it actually um, gives you the number of steps and the distance pretty much accurately we can say right so let's see let's quickly see and create a small app which actually can tell us how many number of steps we have taken and how much distance we have covered while walking okay so let's quickly create a such kind of an app which is very simple yet very interesting to hear right so let's quickly get started with this okay now starting off with the design we already know so we have to first design the screen right so i'm just uh, changing the alignment to center and let's change background color so maybe i'll just choose yellow first and then we'll customize it so i would customize it to i think i like this color for now or maybe a little lighter shade of this cool now so this is um this is about the screen and i will also choose big default text to, so that uh, i need not set the font sizes and all uh, for other components right so i will be needing a label first you all know first i always start with um, a title right so let's just quickly give the title of this label as um so this is a tracker right step tracker so i would just say steps tracker or step counter and let's change it to bold maybe font italic background color say green and text color i would say now white red no blue i think this works so let's say 30 40 good looks good uh and maybe we can change the typeface to serif this is good right and then uh, next we will be needing a horizontal arrangement horizontal arrangement will be in layout okay so horizontal arrangement is similar to a row in thunkable if you have not been watching my thunkable series yet please do go back to my channel folks hub there are so many playlists among them you find you will find thunkable please do watch that and you will understand uh, so many things about app creation Along with that, we have created so many apps, so you can go through them, okay? And yeah, coming back to this horizontal alignment, I would just like to change this to center. And uh, with fill parent, yeah. Now, so inside this, I would just like to add uh, two labels. So the first label and second label. On the first label, let me just change this text as number of number of steps and on this this will be i will be renaming this as um step count label okay let's change the text to zero oh wait So, and the next one would be 
another horizontal arrangement so i'll just control c and control v so to uh, if you just copy if you want to copy paste just have to click on the component and then say control c and control v right to just copy paste the thing now uh, on horizontal arrangement 2 label uh, would say distance covered distance covered I think I will also just put a colon symbol so that it looks good. And uh, on this label, uh, let's just rename it as um, distance label. Okay, so let's click on okay. Now, let's just give some space right uh, in in mit app inventor if you want to give a space you can just quickly drag horizontal arrangement and you can just place in between them right so that's how you can also give some space okay and you can also make the screen scrollable by clicking on screen and just checking the box scrollable here to just make your screen scrollable okay and lastly, we will be needing a button. So I'll just quickly drag a button and place it below this. So on this button, we would just like to give the text as um, start, start counting. Okay. And you can also design this. So I think I'll just do the same thing, text and then background color green so font bold and font italic this looks cool shape rounded yeah perfect okay so now it is uh, completely aligning the things and also on the screen if if you just give align vertical as center oh uh, oh basically maybe we have just made it scrollable right let's just um uncheck the scrollable box let's see if we can just yeah center okay uh, it doesn't i mean it seems so big over here but when you uh, see it on the phone it looks um, different okay so that's why i'm just doing this okay and then uh, let's go to blocks now what exactly we wanted to do is basically whenever the button is clicked right then we have to start counting oh wait we haven't added the main component which is pedometer without the pedometer component you can't really count the number of steps right so in sensors category you have this pedometer just drag it and place it on the screen to add it okay so it already has the stride length so this is like the step length and stop detection timeout it's it's 2000 milliseconds here okay so if you want to stop it uh, you can also like just add quickly add another button right let's just go to screen one again i'll make it scrollable for some time let's uh, let's click on this button so i've just um, pasted it right and then here I'm just quickly writing stop, stop counting to just stop the pedometer. Okay, start counting and stop counting. Let's quickly go to blocks. Now, now that we have pedometer, so when button one is clicked, here our button one is start counting button. So I would just like to, when button one is clicked, I would just uh, start the pedometer. So call pedometer one start. Okay, now when button two, when button two means this is when stop button clicked right so when stop button is clicked i would just call pedometer stop okay so maybe uh let's just rename this button so we can rename this button as um start button this will be renamed as stop button and then uh i will just quickly add another button and i would rename this as um, reset button mm, 
blocks. Oh wow, okay, cool. When reset button click, uh, I would not call pedometer stop. Instead, we can actually call pedometers reset. Right? So when start button click, call pedometer one start. When stop button click, we are stopping it. When reset button click, we are resetting it. Okay. Now, um, also, we have to set the text on the labels, right? For that, we have distance label and step count label. So let's just click on step count label and uh, set step count label text to two. Wait, we'll just set this when when pedometer walk step. So walk step is a event handler here, right? So when pedometer walk step, we have walk steps and distance also. So we just would like to set the walk steps in step count label. Okay. So similarly, when distance label, so so when pedometer walk step, it is getting detected now, right? So whenever it is detecting the steps on the step count label, we are getting the walk steps and placing the value over here. And it also gives the value of distance. So you can get the distance from here when you just place your cursor on the top of this. So you will get get distance. So set distance label text to get distance. Okay. So whatever is the distance covered that will be shown on the distance label. Whatever are the number of steps covered, that will be shown on step count label, okay? So that's it. This is all about the app, right? Now you can start the pedometer, you can stop it, you can reset it, right? And you can um, also see how many number of steps you're walking and uh, what is the distance covered, okay? So I hope uh, you all have a clear idea of what exactly a pedometer component can do right and how can you use it easily right so this is a very simple app which just counts your number of steps and the distance covered with the pedometer sensor which is available in mit app inventor one of the very useful components we can say right i hope this was uh, interesting and this was easy for you to understand uh, about pedometer right if you have any questions or concerns you can do let me know in the comment section below right i would also uh, We'll get you more and more content uh, related to app development, game development, and web developments. So this is all about it. I will be meeting you all in the next session. Till then, please do watch all my videos. Go to my channel, playlist. So you have multiple of them. Just go watch them. Start off with any to get more and more content. Okay. So I'll be back with another video. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, folks. Bye-bye, guys. Have a great day.